the Alpine region of Switzerland, conventionally referred to as the Swiss Alps, represents a major natural feature of the country and is, along with the Swiss Plateau and the Swiss portion of the Jura Mountains, one of its three main physiographic regions. The Swiss Alps extend over both the Western Alps and the Eastern Alps, encompassing an area sometimes called Central Alps while the northern ranges from the Bernese Alps to the Appenzell Alps are entirely in Switzerland. The Swiss Alps comprise all the mountains of Switzerland over 2,000 meters above sea level and almost all the highest mountains of the Alps, such as Monte Rosa, the Dom, the Liskam, the Weisshorn and the Matterhorn. The other following major summits can be found in list of mountains of Switzerland. Since the Middle Ages, transit across the Alps played an important role in history. The region north of the St. Gotthard Pass became the nucleus of the Swiss Confederacy in the early 14th century. Geography The Alps cover 65% of Switzerland's surface area, making it one of the most alpine countries. Despite the fact that Switzerland covers only 14% of the Alps' total area, many Alpine 4000ers are located in the Swiss Alps and practically all of the remaining few are within 20 kilometers of the country's border. The glaciers of the Swiss Alps cover an area of 1,220 square kilometers, representing 44% of the total glaciated area in the Alps. The Swiss Alps are situated south of the Swiss Plateau and north of the national border. The limit between the Alps and the Plateau runs from Vivi on the shores of Lake Geneva to Rorschach on the shores of Lake Constance, passing close to the cities of Thun and Lucerne. The Alpine cantons of Valais, Bern, Graubünden, Uri, Glaris, Ticino, Saint. Gallen, Vaud, Arbolden, Nidwalden, Schweiz, Appenzell Inneroden, Appenzell Ozeroden, Fribourg, Lucerne and Zug. The countries with which Switzerland shares mountain ranges of the Alps are France, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein. Ranges the Alps are usually divided into two main parts, the Western Alps and Eastern Alps, whose division is along the Rhine from Lake Constance to the Splugen Pass. The western ranges occupy the greatest part of Switzerland while the more numerous eastern ranges are much smaller and are all situated in the canton of Graubünden. The latter are part of the central eastern Alps, except the Ortler Alps which belong to the southern limestone Alps. The Pennine, Bernese and Bernina range are the highest ranges of the country. They contain respectively 38, 9 and 1 summit over 4,000 meters. The lowest range is the Appenzell Alps culminating at 2,500 meters. Situated out of the main chain Western Alps Eastern Alps hydrography rivers the north side of the Swiss Alps is drained by the Rhone, Rhine and in while the south side is mainly drained by the Ticino. The rivers on the north empty into the Mediterranean, North and Black Sea, on the south the Po empty in the Adriatic Sea. The major triple watersheds in the Alps are located within the country, they are P.I.Z. Lung Hin, Wittenwasserenstock and Monte Forpola. Between the Wittenwasserenstock and P.I.Z. Lung Hin runs the European watershed separating the basin of the Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea. The European watershed lies in fact only partially on the main chain. Switzerland possesses 6% of Europe's fresh water, and is sometimes referred to as the Water Tower of Europe. Lakes since the highest dams are located in alpine regions. Many large mountain lakes are artificial and are used as hydroelectric reservoirs. Some large artificial lakes can be found above 2,300 meters, but natural lakes larger than 1 square kilometer are generally below 1,000 meters. The melting of low-altitude glaciers can generate new lakes, such as the 0.25 square kilometers large Trift Sea which formed between 2002-2003. Land elevation The following table gives the surface area above 2,000 meters and 3,000 meters and the respective percentage on the total area of each canton, whose high point is above 2,000 meters. Geology the composition of the Great Tectonic Units reflects the history of the formation of the Alps. 
the rocks from the Helvetic zone on the north and the Austro-Alpine Naps, Southern Alps on the south come originally from the European and African continent respectively. The rocks of the Penninic Naps belong to the former area of the Brian Conus microcontinent and the Tethys Ocean. The closure of the latter by subduction under the African plate preceded the collision between the two plates and the so-called Alpine orogeny. The major thrust fault of the tectonic arena Sardona in the eastern Glarus Alps gives a visible illustration of mountain building processes and was, therefore, declared a UNESCO World Heritage. Another fine example gives the Alpstine area with several visible upfolds of Helvetic zone material. With some exceptions, the Alps north of Rhone and Rhine are part of the Helvetic zone and those on the south side are part of the Penninic Naps. The Austro-Alpine zone concerns almost only the Eastern Alps, with the notable exception of the Matterhorn. The last glaciations greatly transformed Switzerland's landscape. Many valleys of the Swiss Alps are U-shaped due to glacial erosion. During the maximum extension of the WURM glaciation the glaciers completely covered the Swiss plateau, before retreating and leaving remnants only in high mountain areas. In modern times the LH glacier in the western Bernese Alps is the largest and longest in the Alps, reaching a maximum depth of 900 meters at Concordia. Along with the Fischer and Ar glaciers the region became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2001. An effect of the retreat of the Rhine Glacier some 10 years ago was the Flims rock slide, the biggest still visible landslide apparently worldwide. Environment and climate To protect endangered species some sites have been brought under protection. The Swiss National Park in Graubünden was established in 1914 as the first Alpine National Park. The Entelbuch area was designated a biosphere reserve in 2001. The largest protected area in the country is the Park Ella, opened in 2006, which covers an area of 600 square kilometers. The Jungfrau LH protected area is the first World Heritage Site in the Alps. Climate zones as the temperature decreases with altitude, three different altitudinal zones, each having distinct climate are found in the Swiss Alps. Subalpine zone. The subalpine zone is the region which lies below the tree line. It is the most important region as it is the largest of the three and contains almost all human settlements as well as the productive areas. The forests are mainly composed by conifers above 1,200-1,400 meters, the deciduous tree forest being confined to lower elevations. The upper limit of the subalpine zone is located at about 1,800 meters on the north side of the Alps and at about 2,000 meters on the south side. It can however differ in some regions such as the Appenzell Alps or the Engadine Valley. Alpine Zone The Alpine Zone is situated above the tree line and is clear of trees because of low average temperatures. It contains mostly grass and small plants along with mountain flowers. Below the permafrost limit, the alpine meadows are often used as pastures. Some villages can still be found on the lowest altitudes such as Reeder Alp or JUF. The extent of the alpine zone is limited by the first permanent snow. Its altitude greatly varies depending on the location. It comprises between 2,800 and 3,200 meters. Glacial Zone The glacial zone is the area of permanent snow and ice. When the steepness of the slope is not too high it results in an accumulation and compaction of snow, which transforms into ice. The glacier formed then flows down the valley and can reach as far down as 1,500 meters. Where the slopes are too steep, the snow accumulates to form overhanging seracs which periodically fall off due to the downwards movement of the glacier and cause ice avalanches. The Bernese Alps, Pennine Alps and Mont Blanc Massif contain most of the glaciated areas in the Alps. Except research stations such as the Sphinx Observatory, no settlements have to be found in those regions. 
travel and tourism. Tourism in the Swiss Alps began with the first ascents of the main peaks of the Alps mostly by British mountain climbers accompanied by the local guides. The construction of facilities for tourists started in the mid-19th century with the building of hotels and mountain huts and the opening of mountain train lines. The Jungfrau Bahn opened in 1912. It leads to the highest railway station in Europe, the Jungfrau Joch. Summer tourism Switzerland enjoys a 62,000 km network of well-maintained trails, of which 23,000 are located in mountainous areas. Many mountains attract a large number of alpinists from around the world, especially the 4,000-meter summits and the Great North Faces. The large winter resorts are also popular destinations in summer, as most of aerial tramways operate through the year, enabling hikers and mountaineers to reach high altitudes without much effort. The Klein Matterhorn is the highest summit of the European continent to be served by cable car. Winter tourism The major destinations for skiing and other winter sports are located in Valais, Bernese Oberland and Graubünden. Some villages are car-free and can be accessed only with public transport such as Riederalp and Betmeralp. Zermatt and Sarsfi have both summer ski areas. The ski season starts from as early as November and runs to as late as May. However, the majority of ski resorts in Switzerland tend to open in December and run through to April. The most visited places are Davos, Klosters GR, Zermatt vs. Engadine, St. Moritz GR, Lenzerheide, Arosa GR, Jungfrau Region, Grindelwald, Murren, Wengian B, Les Quatre Valles. Verbia, Nandas vs. LAAX, Flims, LAAX GR, Alaitre Arena, Riederalp, Betmeralp, Fisch vs. Les Portes du Soleil, Champery, Morgans, Les Crocettes vs. Avoria in France, Adelboden, Lenk B, Valdani vs. Grements, Zinnel, Vercoren, St. Luke, Chandelin vs. Gistard. Gistard, Sarnen, Sarnen Moser, Sfysimon B, Rouge Mont, Chateau d'Oexvd, Silvretta Arena, Sam Norn GR and ISCHGL in Austria, Kranz Montana vs. Sarsfi vs. Other important destinations on the regional level are Engelberg, Titelisch and Gotthard Oberalp Arena with Andermatt and Sedran, Lays and Lesmoses. Villa sur Ollen, Les Diablerus Glacier 3000, Lucabad, Savignin, Skuel, Obersaxon, Briel, Briggles, Meiringen, Hasleberg, Sorenberg, Clelowen Alp with Beck Henry den Emmerton, Melch Sea Fruit, Flumserberg and Pizol, Toggenberg with Wildhaus, Unterwasser, Alt Street, Johan, Hockey Brigands 2's, Braunwald and Elm, Erolo and Bosco Guren and many more. The first person to ski in Grindelwald, Switzerland was Englishman Gerald Fox who put his skis on in his hotel bedroom in 1881 and walked out through the hotel bar to the slopes wearing them. Transport The Swiss Alps and Switzerland enjoy an extensive transport network. Every mountain village can be reached by public transport. The main companies are Federal Railway, Rieschen Railway, Matterhorn Gotthard Bahn, Golden Pass, Postbus. Most of mountain regions are within three hours' travel of Switzerland's main cities and their respective airport. The Engadine Valley in Graubünden is between four to six hours away from the large cities. The train journey itself, with the Panoramic Glacier Express or Bernina Express, is popular with tourists. The Engadine Airport near St. Moritz at an altitude of 1,707 meters is the highest in Europe. The crossing of the Alps is a key issue at national and international levels, as the European continent is at places divided by the range. Since the beginning of industrialization Switzerland has improved its transalpine network. It began in 1882 by building the Gotthard Rail Tunnel, followed in 1906 by the Simplone Tunnel and more recently, in 2007, by the Lochberg-based tunnel. The 57 km long 
Gert Hort Base Tunnel is scheduled to open in 2016, and it will finally provide a direct flat rail link through the Alps. Toponymy The different names of the mountains and other landforms are named in the four national languages. The table below gives the most recurrent names. Also a large number of peaks outside the Alps were named or nicknamed after Swiss mountains, such as the Wetterhorn Peak in Colorado or the Matterhorn Peak in California. The confluence of the Baltoro Glacier and the Godwin-Austin Glacier south of K2 in the Karakoram Range was named after the Concordia Platz by European explorers. Bibliography Heinz Staffelbach, Handbuch, Fies of Alpen, Flansen, Thiers, Justine und Wetter, Der Nachführer, Hout Verlag, 2008, 656 pages. French translation. Heinz Staffelbach, Manuel des Alpes Suisses, Plantis, Animo, Roches am acute te acuto. Le Guide Nature, Editions Rosselis, 2009, 656 pages.